Vetco manual gate valves are specifically engineered for long service life with minimum maintenance. When your manual valve is due for repair, you can utilize the following procedure. First, isolate the valve from the flow line. Then bleed off any trapped body pressure by removing the cap from the grease fitting located on the bonnet and unseating the check valve with the pressure bleed off tool. After body pressure has been relieved, close the valve by turning the hand wheel completely clockwise. Remove the bonnet nuts which hold the bonnet to the valve body and carefully lift the complete assembly out of the body. Maintain alignment of the bonnet with the body cavity until all of the components are completely clear. Note that all of the internal valve components are retained in the bonnet recess. To prevent damage to the valve internals, carefully lay the bonnet assembly on its side. While supporting the gate and seat assemblies, rotate the hand wheel counterclockwise until they extend out of the bonnet recess. Remove them, taking care not to damage their highly finished surfaces. As valve components are removed, lay them out in the order of disassembly. Remove the seal ring. The seal ring on three and five thousand pound valves is held in place by a lock ring. The seal ring on ten and fifteen thousand pound valves is held in place by the seat assemblies. Remove the hand wheel from the upper stem section, then unscrew and remove the cap. Remove the O-ring and bearing and race assembly from the upper stem section and drive out the shear pin. Then remove the upper stem section and remaining bearing and race assembly. Unscrew and remove the packing gland. Then remove the stem assembly by pulling it out through the bottom of the bonnet. Use a rubber hammer to help drive the stem through the packing. If necessary for maintenance, the outer gate may be removed from the rising stem by driving the two gate retainer pins, knurled end first, out of the outer gate with a hammer and punch. To complete the disassembly, pull the two stem packings out through the top of the bonnet. After all components are removed from the valve, clean them thoroughly with a suitable solvent. Inspect each part for wear or damage, giving special attention to sealed surfaces and threads. Replace any part found to be damaged. Prepare for reassembly by first coating each component with an approved lubricant. Consult the valve service procedure for lubricant suitable for the intended service of the valve. For clarity, the reassembly procedures are shown without lubricants. This is not a recommended practice. Insert the two stem packings into the top of the bonnet with the seal lips facing downward. Use a wooden rod or other non-metallic object to push the packing into place. Install the packing gland on the bonnet and tighten to recommended torque. Place the outer gate over the rising stem and drive the two gate retainer pins into the outer gate, knurled end last. Screw the rising stem into the non-rising stem. Push the non-rising stem into the bonnet and through the stem packing. Place a bearing and race assembly onto the bottom part of the upper stem section and then install over the non-rising stem onto the packing gland. Insert the shear pin and drive it in flush with a hammer. Install a second bearing and race assembly on the top part of the upper stem section followed by the O-ring.
Then, fit the cap on the bonnet and make it up to recommended torque. Place the hand wheel on the upper stem section and secure it in place. Now install the bonnet seal ring on the bonnet and secure it with the lock ring. Note the two seat assembly alignment holes in the bonnet recess. These provide alignment for the alignment pins on the top of the seat assemblies. The outer two alignment holes in the bonnet flange provide alignment of the bonnet assembly with the alignment pins on the valve body. Adjust the outer gate so that it extends far enough out of the bonnet recess to allow the seat assemblies to be installed. Place the inner gate into the outer gate and install the seat assemblies on the outer gate so that the alignment pins on the seat assemblies engage the alignment holes in the bonnet recess. While supporting the gate and seat assemblies in the bonnet recess, Rotate the hand wheel clockwise to close the valve. Ensure that the alignment pins remain engaged in the alignment holes. All valve components are now retained in the bonnet recess. Now, carefully guide the bonnet assembly over the body studs, making sure to align the two alignment holes in the bonnet to the alignment pins in the valve body until the bonnet flange seats to the body. Lightly tighten the bonnet flange nuts alternately in opposing pairs until snug. Then tighten them to recommended torque with a hammer wrench, again alternating between opposing pairs. After the valve is completely assembled, fill the body cavity with grease through the grease fitting on the bonnet while cycling the valve open and closed. Then grease the bearing and race assemblies through the grease fittings on the cap. Maximum performance from your valve can be ensured by periodic inspection and lubrication as specified in your valve service procedure. Of course, the frequency of maintenance will depend on the way you use the valve. The valve's unique unitized construction allows disassembly and reassembly without having to remove the valve body from the line. This saves you work and minimizes downtime. The valve is now ready for testing and service.